So today I wanted to talk about uh, ego trainers, what's going on inside of our industry and how long it's actually been going on for and how do you know if your ego trainer is an ego trainer? Like what's going on here and why is it that they seem so invested in this particular way of teaching and thinking? So let's talk about that. When it comes to certain trainers inside of our industry, now it doesn't matter whether you're in the hypnosis industry, whether you're in the, uh, you know, when you're in, whether you're in natural healing, whether you're in business or advertising or networking, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, there's always going to be ego trainers. Now, just be aware of the ego trainers, okay? Because the ego trainer are those people that go out there and go, this is the only way it can be done and don't do anything else, don't do this, don't do that, don't do something else. And this is what we call invested ego. Sure, even I have gotten to those stages where I'm like, Duke, don't go there. But I've usually had a justification behind it, whether the platform was not very, um, not, not very well set out, uh, whether the information was a bit like, you know, not really that good. Uh, but at the end of the day, when it comes to these particular trainers, they have an invested ego. Whether they turn around and say, this is the only way that you can do timeline therapy, or this is the only way you can get rid of depression or pain or anything like that. That is what we call an invested ego ego. This is not about teaching now. This is about investing in an ego state, a confirmation bias as such where their way is the only way. And this is where we've got to go, you know what? At the end of the day, we have to go a next level up and find out where is this invested ego actually coming from and how do I decide whether or not to do these courses or not? So number two, when it comes to uh, these courses and trainings, do your research, okay? I never, ever, ever jump onto a website and go by whatever feedback they've placed on their website. I never, ever do that. I always talk to the people that have done the training. So if I see that they've done advertising of some sort, I actually want to jump into that Facebook group and have a talk to a few different people. And I always ask, honestly, what do you think of X, Y, Z? What did you think of the training? What was it as like as an experience for you? Because you must do your research. And how do you do some more advanced research? Well, let me show you, okay? And it's so, so simple. It's one of those things that it's so simple, you'll just go, oh, phew, you're kidding me, right, Trish? So here we go. So let me share my screen with you. Boop, 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 boop. Give me a second. So here, uh, Google is the go-to for so much stuff these days, okay, guys? So all you've got to do is type in who it is that you want to do your training with, okay? So Pellin and Palmer, that's, this is my school, okay? So specialty hypnosis training with Pellin and Palmer. Now, I haven't gone into my webpage here. I've gone straight into Google here. Now, Google here has a place where you can place reviews. So this is what you can do. You can look up the reviews on that particular training and find out what people have voluntarily put onto the webpage as their own feedback. That's what this is all about. That's what Google Reviews is all about. Now, if there's going to be some negative reviews, by all means, scroll through them. Have a look. Find out what's going on and then make a conscious decision for yourself. So, for example, when you click on it, um, so I've put in my own review here and I've put in some photos and all these people have put in their own reviews for their own reasons and they've done it in their own wording. So it's not like you're going to my web page and then it turns around and it's only got positive feedback from all of those little bits that I've picked out. Okay, this is from people actually going onto my website and putting a particular review in. That's how they do that. So this is a really good way to solidify in some truth as to whether this training is worth doing. Now, the other way to confirm with your research as well is to go into the actual website. Okay, go into the website and find, you know what, can you actually navigate your way around any of this? Hi, Karine. Good morning, Dallin. Can you navigate your way around any of their website? Okay, so what we can do here is we have some training on ours. So we have events and training, we have inner child and gut directed hypnosis, and this is the training for this year. So what kind of um, training are they offering? And have a look at their website and their graphics. So are the graphics any good? Can you find your way around the course? 
Is it very clear? So all the training is done online via Zoom, blah, 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 blah. Is it explaining what resources you will receive, what you will learn? Is it accredited? Like, you've got to do some research when it comes to this stuff. We can't just jump into training because Fred down the road said it was fantastic and I saw a video on Facebook of them promoting it, blah, blah, blah. You have to do some research when it comes to this. Now, the other thing also that I wanted to promote is that if you're not quite sure on whether the training has high quality, contact the trainer and ask for a preview, okay? So here I have my preview of the manual. So you can go in here and you can download a preview of the manual. And from here, you can work out what kind of quality you're going to receive within that course. Because I have done training where I have received an A4 piece of paper with just words written on it. And there's no graphics, there's no color, there's no images, there's absolutely nothing going on here. And I've looked at it and I've gone, what the fuck is this? Like, why did I pay $700 for this one day training and you can't even put a picture on the piece of paper? Like, this, this, I'm a visual learner. I want the pictures. So this is where you can go in and, and you can ask for a preview of what the training is like so you can assess the quality. I had one of my girlfriends go and do some training. Now she paid, I think it was $1,400 for two days of training. And when she came home, she's like, Trish, I don't know what I'm doing. I said, well, what are you talking about? I said, you've done your hypnosis training. Like, you know, you should be fine. And she said to me, she goes, have a look at this. This is what I received. And she received two A4 pieces of paper that were just typed out in black text. And she had to scribble all the information over it. There was no step-by-step -step information. There was no criteria. There was literally nothing for her to go on unless she'd written it all out. And they didn't give anyone any video. So she had to rely on her memory to do this. Now, she's just new into the industry and she was thrown into this advanced training with no reference material at all that's a bit rough like that's a rough end of the stick so when it comes to individual trainings don't be afraid to contact the trainer and say hey can I preview some of your work most trainers will have a free download that you can have perhaps some YouTube videos something along those lines thanks guys keep it in those love hearts thanks guys somebody will have something along those lines that you can download and you can preview the work and you can have a look at it and go, you know what, this is really high quality stuff. I can only imagine what their content is like. So when it comes to some of this training as well, what extras are they offering? Are they going to rip you off because of the ego state? So for us in particular, we have pay plans available and we do not charge any extra cost because for us, we need more healers inside this industry and we're not going to charge you more because you need to go on a pay plan. So there are a lot of healers out there that when it comes to their training, they'll charge you hundreds and hundreds of dollars more to put you onto a a pay plan which is not even taking like two minutes out of their day but that is the ego state talking right there so have a look around at the training have a look at the graphics have a look at the information and also can you contact this person very easily so that you know that they that they are, are down to earth and they're dedicated so if you send them an email if they're not responding within a couple of days you've really got a question how dedicated are they to their training and to their students like do they have the time or are they just another person that's coming in taking your money and then they're going to bugger off I have heard of stories about trainers taking in people into their courses that are not adequately trained for that level of training. And that's a really disgusting thing inside of this industry to even do. I've even had people contact me about my training and I have been very, very honest with them and told them my training is not appropriate for you just yet because we need to go and do this first. This is advanced training. So have a look at the training and see, what's it, see what it's about. Now down here, here, I have my feedback as well. So this is feedback that I have actually taken from Google itself and then placed it onto my web page. So these feedbacks here are exactly the same as what came from the Google reviews from these particular individuals. I haven't asked them to fill in paperwork and then reworded it myself or anything like that. And I've even included links of these particular people so that perhaps if you're interested in going to them, then you can. Because I honestly believe in the sense of community when it
it comes to doing all of our training, all of our networking, and being a very, very transparent person, okay? So if you wanna ask me a question, please ask me questions, but I'm very transparent, remember, okay? So I will give you an honest answer. So please do your research when it comes to doing this training. You know, find out something. And I've done training where the, the, the trainer has been extremely egotistical, but I've still gotten something out of it. So number three, resonate higher than the trainer. Don't be afraid to ask them questions. Don't be afraid to push the button as such. I did one training in Melbourne and I took a girlfriend with me. And when he was explaining his technique that he discovered, I thought to myself, I'm like, hang on, no, that was actually discovered back in 1940. Um, how is it that you can claim that this training is your discovery? We've known about this training for like 70 years now in this theory. Anyway, I questioned him about it and I didn't do it in, a, in an unfashionable manner. I questioned him about it and I said to him, I said, how is your theory different or compared to this particular theory, blah, blah, blah. And immediately he shut me down. He would not answer any of my questions after that. He wouldn't even acknowledge that I was in the class or anything like that. He immediately shut me down. And I thought to myself, hang on, you're not a good trainer if you're not willing to resonate higher than somebody questioning you and what's happening here. So always resonate higher if you are a trainer. I've had those trainers that have blocked me from their training, even though I've paid for it. They have um, deleted the training course. They've even deleted me off the Facebook page because I've actually asked them those hard questions. And I want to make sure that the other students are actually in the know of what's going on as well. Because at the end of the day, I want transparency. I want honesty. I really want to make sure that we have all of the information going on here. And even when I do have an, a, an opinion of some sort, because, hey, we've all got opinions. But even when I do have an opinion of some sort, I'm more than willing to be open to discuss the opposite of that opinion. Why? Because it's through diversity that we can create all this other information, all these other views. And who knows? Perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps there is a better way and a new system out there that I just haven't been exposed to yet. This is absolutely fantastic. But I have had those people that have come in what with, with what we call the Nazi mentality. And the Nazi mentality is their way. It's only this way and it's only ever done this way. And this is how it will always be done. It's like, well, um, you know what? Just because you don't believe in past life regression doesn't mean it doesn't work for my clients and what I do. So resonate higher when it comes to doing these trainings. And sometimes, guess what? You're not going to always 100% agree with the trainer. You have to go with what resonates with you and how you're going to take that into your client base. Some people do spiritual healing. Some people do starseed healing. Some people um, are Venusians where they talk to aliens from other planets. And other people are just like, no, nah, I'm just completely logical. I'm completely statistical. And that's all I work with science-based evidence you have to resonate higher and go with what sits in your core if you want to use scripts inside your business use scripts inside your business if you don't want to don't do it it's completely okay but also be open to those that do or do not wish to do it for their own particular reasons it doesn't make anyone inferior it just makes them working the system so that their clients are getting the results and that's all it is about at the end of the day Number four, when you do this training, no matter how good, bad, ugly, fantastic it is, find the value. So when I went and did that training where that training absolutely hated me, um, didn't deliver on the promises where I questioned his morals on, on the so-called methodology that he found that was actually back like 70 years ago, um, he blocked me from the added extras. He blocked me from the Facebook page. You know, it hasn't even acknowledged like, you know, my listing or anything like that. And when it comes to these particular trainers, I sort of went, you know what? Because I paid $700 to be there for that day. And at that time, I was just starting out in the industry. So I really, really was struggling. $700, that's a lot of money for one day of training. And I was sitting there and I'm like, you know what? All I have to do is find the value. That's all I need. Because at the end of the day, I'm not getting my $700 back. So I must find the golden egg to take away from this. So at least make it feel like it has more value. So you're going to enroll in those trainings and you're going to think, you know what? 
why am I here? Why have I done this? This is a complete waste of money. You're going to, it's going to happen, okay? But find the value. I recently did a course um, with uh, children in hypnosis by a very well-known person over in the, in the UK. And it was a full diploma, blah, blah, blah. And she sent me the video. She's like, here, Trish, you can study it online via video, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, sweet. Thank you so much. Well, this full diploma in children's hypnotherapy, I knocked over all four videos in less than an hour and she gave me my diploma. And I just sat there and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, did you give me the introduction? Like, what the hell happened here? So I sent her an email and I said, I, 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 said, I must be confused. Um, perhaps you only sent me the videos with the introduction for it and then I got my diploma uh, my fully accredited diploma in children hypnotherapy and she goes no no she goes I've checked the criteria you've done everything and she's like could you leave me some feedback and I said absolutely I can leave you some feedback and I was very constructive about it I stated that I didn't believe it had any value in it. I stated that you could look all this stuff up for free, that the videos were very well formatted. So that was a really, really good thing. So balance out the negative and the positive and find the value in it. So what did I actually get out of that one particular course? Well, I got to not ever do one of her courses again. That's what I did because it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. So now I have to ask more questions and I did my research and I found that she'd been using a lot of deception when it comes to advertising her courses on her webpage. So I was extremely disappointed. So the value I received from that was knowing that I paid $130 for what I thought was like some special for this course. I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. Like, you know, it's discounted down from like 700 for whatever reason. And I thought, you know what, let's just do that. And the value I got from it was finding out to not do any of her courses ever again, because even if she'd sold me that course for 20 bucks, I still would have been disappointed on some level. But I learned some value out of how she presented her videos. And I thought, you know what, that's where I've gotten my value. So find the value inside the course, no matter how big or how small. Perhaps you met someone inside the course and now you're networking and you've got a great friend to go out with coffee with or something like that. But find the value inside the course. There's always value somewhere inside of these things. So when it comes to these courses, please, by all means, go out and do your courses. Talk to people, but do not rely on the Facebook feedback. Do not rely on their web page feedback. Rely on what people have been stating. Rely on what people have been saying and doing. Are they getting any real value out of this? Ask for a sample or a preview of what's going to be inside the course so you can assess the quality. And then also check out their Google reviews. If they don't have any Google reviews, then I would be questioning who's their website designer because they need to have some really good Google reviews, okay? So I'm a Google review fan, so maybe that makes me a little bit of an ego trainer in that area, but it has definitely safeguarded me in the future because I'm very, very particular when I do my training. I am a well-seasoned hypnotherapist now, and I am very particular with the training that I now do, and I do base a lot of it on Google reviews, and I have no issues whatsoever with emailing each individual person that I know has done their training and asking exact specific questions and asking for a preview so otherwise from that guys go and have an amazing day i will catch you in the future and if you'd like to do my gut directed hypnosis training or my heal the inner child training then pop into my webpage and you can check it all out there you can grab a preview there are google reviews as well so check it all out and feel free to send me an email because i'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have I'll so advance future, your darling. hypnosis and NLP training. Go to Palin and Palmer Specialty Hypnosis or click the link down in the description. Go up to events and training and then click on what we have on offer. Now our events and training are not only live in person but they're also available online and you will be working with me. So we have two accredited certifications that are completely recognized at currently running at the moment. We have Heal the Inner Child, which is only $49, or you can do the Gut Directed Hypnosis Protocol, which is $697, and you get Heal the Inner Child completely for free. 
So go along to the, the web page and have a browse around. We offer full criteria. It's all taught in person, either via Zoom or at one of our live events. And you can have a complete look all around here. And if you want a sample of the manual, then please, by all means, download it here. So otherwise from that, please browse around the web page and I will catch you in the future. Bye-bye.